Now this is a lizard pattern made by matchstick. So pattern number one, this is pattern number one, pattern number two, and so on. So let's make up a table first. Say so n for pattern number. So I'll say n for pattern number. Say so let me write pattern number n. Pattern number. Let's say denote the letter n for it and number of math stick number of math stick so what do we want to find we want to answer two questions we want to find if this in the 15 pattern there will be how many math sticks so let's write what is clear so in the first pattern you got one two three four five six six math sticks in the second pattern you got six till here 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, so plus 5. For the third pattern, so this is up to the second pattern, so the third pattern is plus 5, which is how much? Plus 5 is uh, 16, and the fourth pattern starts from here, so again that is 4, is the uh, plus 5, which is 21. My, our question is, we want to find how many are there in the 15th pattern. In the, in the 15th pattern there will be how many math sticks. And from that we also want to find if in the nth pattern there will be how many math sticks. So let's just look at the numbers. Okay, so here if you look deeper you will see things. So this is this is 6. So can I write this as 6 plus something? Well, this is 6 plus what is 11? 6 plus 5. Can I write 16 as 6 plus something? 6 plus 10. This is 6 plus 15. Okay, now if you go in deeper, so this can be written as 6 plus 1 times 5. This is 6 plus 2 times 5. And this is 6 times, 6 plus 3 times 5. So this is 15, this is 10, and this is 5. And this, if you want to write, this is 6 plus 0 times 5. So now I want you to see a relation between this 1 and this 0. So what is common is 6 and 5. Can you see a relation between this 2 and this 1? this 3 and this is 2. So this 4 and this 3. So if you look closely, all these numbers 6, 11, 16 and 21 is made up of two numbers which is 6 and 5 and of course there is a number with 5. So well I can say 1, sorry 0 is 1 less than 1. This 1 is 2 less than 1. This 2, 1 is 2 less than 2, sorry. 2 is 1 less than 3, and 3 is 1 less than 4. So using that same pattern, I can say, well, this has to be, if this is 15, this has to be 6 plus what times 15? Sorry, what times 5? So it will be 14 times 5. You have to go 1 less than this number. Okay, so this is 14 times 10 is 140, so this is 6 plus uh, 140, half of 140 is 70. So this has to be 67. So using that same pattern, I can say, well, if you want to find the nth pattern, this would be 6 plus n minus 1 times 5. The nth pattern would be 6 plus n minus 1 times 5. So let's expand this out. So this is 6 plus this, you have to use a bit of algebra, phi times n minus 1. So this is 6 plus 5n minus 5. So your final answer is, for the nth pattern, for the nth pattern, it would be 5n plus 1. n pattern would be 5n plus 1. Okay, so yeah, how did I get 1? 6 minus 5 is 1. 
Okay, so let's check this. Use this. So can you see this is phi times one plus one. This would be phi times two. N stands for the pattern number plus one. This is phi times three plus one. And this is phi times four plus one. So using that same, you can go phi times. 15, which is 75, 5 times 15, uh, oh, this should be 75, yeah, 70 plus 6 is 76, that's why, so it's good to check, okay, I made a mistake, 70 plus 6 is not 67, this is 76, good to check, so it does make sense, this is 75 plus 1, which is 76. Okay, now we're going to use that to find, if you want to go up to the fifth, tenth pattern, what's the total number of math sticks? Okay, so let me give you, a, suppose S1, that means S1 means the sum, the total, so let me write T1, okay, in most of the books they use S1, but let me write T1, T1 for st T1, for the first sequence, if you are doing only one sequence, you need six math sticks. If you need, if you want to go up to the second math stick, sorry, second pattern, it will be six plus eleven. Okay, because the second pattern is six plus eleven, which is seventeen. If you want to go to the up to the third pattern, it will be six plus eleven plus plus 5, 6 plus 11, 6 plus 11 plus 16. Okay, so this we know is 17 plus 16, which is 33. So the question is, if you want to go up to the 10th pattern, you have to go 6 plus, 6 plus 11 plus 16 up to the 10th pattern. So this is, we know, if you want to go up to the 10th pattern, it will be, what will be in the 10th pattern? So in the 10th pattern, so we know the formula which is 5 times 10 plus 1, which is, this is 50 plus 1, which is 51. Okay, so we want to go up to 51 plus 51, that's our question. Okay, so this is what we want to find. Okay, so what can we do? Okay, so let's write this like this. So T10, I'm going to write this as 6 plus 11 plus 16 plus dot 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 plus I'll write 51 what is phi? Because you're going, you're increasing. Uh, this is increasing by how much? This is increasing by phi. Okay, so if you go backwards, you take away phi, which is 46. Plus, you take away phi, which is 41. So now, can I write T10 also like this? Can I write this as 51 plus 46 plus 41? plus plus this is 16 plus 11 plus 6 so let's add this okay so this is t10 plus t10 which is 2 times t10 2 times t10 is this is how much this is 51 plus 6 is 57 plus this is how many times this is again 57, this is also 57 plus dot 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 up to, this is 57 plus 57 plus 57. Okay, so I'm going to divide, so this is 2 times T10. How many lots of 57 do you have? Well, that's 10 lots of 57. 10 lots of 57, so T10, so I'm going to divide both sides by 2, so if you divide this side by 2, 
you can divide this side by 2. So 2 and 2 gets cancelled, T10, or the total number of math stick, if you are going up to the 10th pattern, would be 570 divided by 2. Okay, so which is half of 500, so this I am going to, I'm, I want to do without a calculator, divided by 2, which is 250 plus 35, which is 285. So if you want to go up to the 10th pattern, the total number of math sticks you need is 285 math sticks.